Okay, don't judge the hair because it's everywhere. It's windy today and I didn't bring my wind muff. What's new? But anywho, I said that I have to go skating today because I promised that I would. I promised that I would and I'm glad I made it out because it's not as cold as it's been the last couple days despite the wind. And I'm not as bad as I thought I would be for the first time in a year since. Supply. Why am I calling ingredient supplies? I need to get it together. But there's a bulk horn right there, so I got bay leaves because I've been out for a minute. Trail mix. Yum, yum, yum. It's literally called yum, yum, yum. Score. I'm a sucker for score bits. I don't know why. I can't explain it. This one is called Garden of Eden. This is a little bit of pure period, so I'm going to try to make that fish. The one that I showed you guys, I don't even know how many vlogs ago. I think it's Basa, Baja, don't ask me, don't ask me. And then chocolate covered coconut. Cause I mean, hello, you know, I go cocoa for the coconut. And when I was cashing out, the girl's like, hey, do you live at X, Y, and Z? And I'm thinking, does my address show up or something on the system? And like, yeah. And she's like, oh, we used to be neighbors. This is the thing about being legally blind. I can't see her face to be like, hey girl. So I was just like, oh cool. So like, did you move to another neighborhood? Cause you used to, right? And she was saying, yeah, I actually live near here. And I miss it there cause it's quiet, which I mean, when the fridge is not fridging, it is such a peaceful vibe here. I love forcing myself to do things cause sometimes I get so discouraged losing vision. I'm gonna make some hot chocolate. This is gonna be a lot of chocolate overload, but anyway. I need to try and compare. So these are the ones from Walmart. So good. So oh, good. Cleansing the palate. You know I'm gonna be extra with it, right? <laughs> okay, those ones are perfect because it has the perfect amount of coconut with the chocolate and a little bit of salt. This one right here doesn't look the same, but hopefully. Way more coconut. No salt. It's good. I think these are too sweet. I'm a cashew fiend. I don't know if it's a Caribbean thing or not, but me and cashews go bad. I'm pretty sure she gave me a discount because I was like, hola, hola, hola. You know, otherwise, these are not going to be crunchy. And nobody wants stale cashews, so let me just take some out. Now do I have room up here for it? Because it used to be a candle container. I know what you're thinking, just get yourself a step stool. Eh, I don't know. Half the fun is climbing up on the countertop. I remember doing that as a child because all the best treats were at the top. Top shelf. The way mom, Alicia! And when I was, what, 10, 11 years old, I was always trying to do like little science experiments in the kitchen. And I decided to try to make caramel from sugar, which takes forever and a half. But when you're a kid, you have all time all the time in the world. So here goes me, forgetting that the stove was on super high for forever and a half, and I go to climb on the stove to get something from the top. And of course, because I'm going up, pressure is pushing me up. So it takes me a second to realize, oh my gosh, my hand is burning to take it off. Damage was done. The way that bubbled up, TMI, skip to the next scene if you're not, if you're not into gory stories, but the way that bubbled up in the fluid, oh, if you've ever had a bubble, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It was terrible. And of course, Caribbean parents, serve you right. <laughs> if you don't hear, you're gonna feel. Anyway, that's it for the day. See you tomorrow, maybe. Wait, where's the lid? Bad bougie. Brr, brr, brr. Should I allude to my hot chocolate with a little bit of water because it's so rich? A pour without a spill? I don't think it's possible. Okay, 
Where should I sit? Uh, maybe the, the third one. Is it okay Yeah, of okay. course. Oh, well, I have Julie. Third one. No, I can sit there. No, it's okay. You guys are friends. It's perfectly fine. No, no, it's all good. Don't worry. Switch real quick. We're gonna get these fixed because the gap is gaping, or the gap is gaping, or however you say it. All I do know is this is the only time that I don't like girls because it looks. Christmas now since like November. last week. Let me snip snip real quick. I'm so tired of walking outside with tags. I mean, I'm keeping the clothes. It's not like I'm returning it because it's from J Lux label. But I just have a bad habit when I order things online. I completely forgot to take out the tag. Some of them you cannot break with your fingers. You need a knife. And it is a badass thing to do that in a restaurant. So we're not going to go to Henry's, which is a restaurant that's been on my list for over a year. We might go to Daphne though, which I heard is a really good restaurant. Pretty vibe. The only thing is, I didn't want Italian food because I've had too much this year, but it may just be the closest thing to where we're going afterwards. So this is the outfit. Let me just back up a bit, even though the lighting's not great. Chic, simple, sophisticated. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> It's a culture, it's a state of mind, it's a release, it's a fantasy come true. Come with me. <laughs> you about to lose your job. You about to lose your job. Where did that happen? <laughs> Where's the air conditioner? <laughs> That's why it's getting cold. Okay. Can they also turn up the audio on the AC yeah. by any chance? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like, is that a part of the package or not? <laughs> part of your perception is because it's what you've been surrounded by and is what you've been programmed to find beautiful. Everyone can be their childlike selves, their sexiest selves. You see him? Hello. Oh, this part is so great. Baby. 
You don't have to take it down. He's not just okay. <laughs> I almost passed out. <laughs> <laughs> the more that I do it, the better I become. This ain't no purge. This ain't no purge. It's not like I haven't been through it. I am always able to get back to myself because of you. The best thing to do is just get back on the horse. I'm trying. <laughs> enough and wise enough to really understand how quick and precious life is. I think you passed on that gene to be resourceful. Uncle Johnny exposed me to decadence. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Fan me up, I'm hot, hot, hot like solar shell. Let me up in jail. Last night. Hey, hey, okay, let's open this first. And I don't even have Amazon Prime. Please God, please God, please God, let this one work. Do I have to charge it first? Obsessed much? <laughs> Can't get enough of these summer Friday lip glosses. Okay, I'm definitely gonna get into some things tonight. Wait, how do you turn it off though, bro? I'm so excited about this, you don't even know. Arrived right on time. I have somewhere to be on Saturday, and this is a perfect vibe for the place we're going. That is if I'm still going. Lady in red. I love that I always try to mute, cut out, or minimize the amount of time it takes for me to open packages because I don't want to annoy you with all you all. I step off the packaging. Here we go. J Lux label done. Did it again. Okay. This right here with my hair half up, half down. What? No, oh, I've been a fan for a long, long time. Been buying since the pan began. I swear, online shopping was all me way before the pandemic and then the pan happened and I just went ham. Started with the aloe yoga, moved on to J-Lux label, mesh key joggers. These ones are the R1 still, but most of my favorite joggers are mesh key. They don't sell them no more. Savile skirt, I used to love from back, back in the day. Pretty little thing. I'm glad I graduated. I know I'm probably ruining my chance of ever getting a sponsorship with them, but it's so hit and miss. I can't lie to you guys about that. So I think Pretty Little Thing is perfect if you want like an outfit that you know you're going to wear on vacation and maybe a couple times in the summer. But if you're trying to be more sustainable and conscious, you have a lot of stuff already, or you prefer quality, it's not really for you. Misguided. Misguided costs a lot for what it is. White Fox costs a lot, but I think it's worth it. You just have to be patient because it takes a while to come from Australia to here. Well, Sabo does too, but I feel like Sabo is just elevated. I don't know. I should do a sit down video of all my favorite boutiques, but I feel like I've done that already. So let me just uh, zip it up. The extra small, it's snug as a bug, except in this area. But I'm happy they at least have extra small because when they're rocking with the three sizes, small, medium, and large, I am too small for the small, so now I finally feel like I'm seen, I'm mean. This color is everything to me. It is a very rich red. It's giving like cranberry more than cherry, which is what I thought. Or wait, cherry would probably be darker than cranberry. You know what I mean. Like, it's not bright, fiery red, but it's still sophisticated chic. The ruching will always be a moment in my book. I mean, if it goes out of style, you're going to still see me wear this. And you're gonna see me wear this a lot because <laughs> I'm in the air of my life. I bought it, I'll wear it. It's not just a one, one and done gram fit. This is something I'm gonna wear time and time again because I feel like it's classic. I love it! It's perfect and you can make it brighter too. Today's our first snowfall of the season, so we're gonna brighten it up a little bit. Just, I'm gonna need it. So, motion sensor, brighter, 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 dim, dim, dim. Look at that, that's actually perfect for nighttime. I have to memorize it. That's the thing about being blind. Anytime you get some new tech, it's a lot of memory work. Let's make a smoothie today. I'm not gonna show you guys, because work is super busy, so I have to do this quickly. And you know I like to make these shots all aesthetic and ish, but I'll show you what it is when it's finished. They said they fixed my fridge, but these bananas are too soft, considering they should be frozen. You know, they could have just 
waited a day if they were going to send me a day after anyway. I mean, save on packaging, no? I was worried because they didn't show the soles. So I'm here thinking, Lord of mercy, on a day like today where the snow melted away, but still. This has got grips. I mean, it's still a new book, which is a little scandalous for the wet days, but hey. And I like this way better than the other, the other ones that I showed you. I put them in a bag to take them back. See? It's more clunk clunk than this one. This is more chic for me. Could you wear this with the dress? I don't think so. Um, I wouldn't wear them with this outfit, but... Oh, are you serious? I could have gotten a size seven in this. Only thing I don't like is I wish that it was all closed with a little nice chic zipper instead of the stretchy bit. If I must die, let it bring hope that who lived in a blaze and bit no one farewell, not even. $200 of contact paper later. Somebody tell me why this is giving the same print as the one I just sent back a couple weeks ago. It better not be. I purposely made sure I didn't purchase the same thing again, but it kind of looks like it. I'm gonna check in the morning when the sunlight is shining because I have a better idea. Even with this bright light, it's not the same as daylight. Morning loves, let's see, moment of truth. Do I have to exchange this? It's the matte marble. I made the mistake, I thought I bought glossy then I checked it real quick after I purchased it. Let's hope this is okay. <gasps> Are you seeing this? Probably not. I mean, even though it's not sunny, I shouldn't be facing the light. I should be the other way around, but hopefully you guys can see this marble. Oh my life, I pray for a roll like this. I thank God that I, that I finally found you. <laughs> so extra. It's so pretty though. I just don't know if it should have been glossy though. I just feel like the glossy really gives like it's contact paper. Whereas the matte, it's like, I mean, it still gives contact paper. Let's be real. And for the amount, for the price of this, ooh, I'm too embarrassed, but you know I'm gonna link everything down below. This is beautiful. Why did it take me seven rolls to end up here? This is epitome of my life. The longest, <laughs> a lot of things in my life, I have to go and do a whole bunch of things to come and find the perfect conclusion. I mean, this is like stark white, this is off white, this is, I don't know, it, we're not gonna go there. I still don't know if I'm gonna waste money getting different fixtures. I think we're doing too much at this point already. But it's so pretty. I mean, as long as it kind of matches the backsplash. We'll see when it does what it needs to do for now. And one day I'm gonna look back at this video and be like, oh, we glue up, but until then, we're gonna spruce up. Best pizza I've had in my life. See, we're advertising for that. So the verdict is in. It's good. Not worth an hour wait though. This one could be spicier. His is way spicy. Really, really good. So I'd recommend that one the most out of all of them. 